come on, come on, come on. Come on, get ready. Come on, come on. Some of you are acting like God didn't save you. You need to get up out of your seat. You need to give the lamb what's worthy for his suffering. Come on, let's pull the lid off of this place. Come on. Is he your healer? Is he your provider? Come on, don't hold back on me today. Come on. Come on, call upon his name. Elohim. Yes. Shaddai. Come on, worship him. Come on, come on, begin to declare it. Okay, get ready, get ready. Every, every new need unlocks a new name. I said every new need unlocks a new name. See, you didn't know him as Rafa until you needed a healer. There's a fresh revelation that comes with a fresh temptation. There's a fresh revelation that comes with a fresh need. The need unlocks the name. And some of you in this moment need to come up out of your seats, come into the aisles. You need to come up front right now at every location, New York City, Indiana, come on, let's go. And we're gonna declare the name of Jesus. We're gonna give him what he's worthy. Come on, I wish in a watch party right now you would begin to worship. Come on, push. Come on, push. Come on, push. Press in. Elohim. Shaddai. Come on. of living water. Unlock those wells of living water. Rivers of living water are flowing. The devil has tried to lock up your praise, but God is undamning your worship. You don't need the words of a song anymore. Cry out in desperation. Come on, V1 Church. I want to hear a groaning and a travailing and a longing. Come on. Sometimes you got to release the living waters. It's okay to speak in tongues at this church. When you run out of words in English, when you run out of words in Spanish, I wish somebody would begin to pray in the Spirit right now. I wish somebody would begin to release their tongues right now. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is still baptizing. Pentecost is still happening here in New York. Come on, speak it out. Hey. Make me a house of prayer.
home. Lord. Let the incense arise. Let the incense arise. Let the incense of our prayer rise. house of worry but God wants to turn you into a house of worship when we say house of prayer we're not talking about the nightclubs and the bars and the venues that we convert into sanctuaries I'm talking about the temple of the Holy Spirit that was purchased by the precious blood of the Lamb and some of you have tried to medicate with pills what could only be solved by prayer some of you have listened to TED Talks, but you need to get on your knees and begin to worship the King of Glory. Some of you have gone to your friends for advice, but you don't need advice. You need a word from heaven. You need a prophetic download in this moment. Listen, we're gonna take a few moments as a church, and I want some of you, I see some of you crying even in the lobby right now because the Spirit of the Lord is just tangibly drawing you new york city long island indiana miami toronto canada come on california if you want dead dry religion you can go back to saint anthony's where you came from come on if you just want a motivational speech you can go back to the methodist presbyterian church you came from but those who worship him will worship him in spirit and in truth and sometimes you gotta stop caring what the person around you thinks about you sometimes you gotta say god if you're real god if you're real encounter me god i'm gonna be found worshiping take a few moments right now we're gonna sing this one time and i want you just to begin to enter in whatever that means Some of you got so used to the priest praying that the Lord says, I want to hear your voice now. Some of you got so used to your pastor praying, the Lord says, I desire to hear your voice. Holy, holy, holy.
glory of the Lord is rising in this place. Come on. Come on, fire fall, fire fall, fire fall. Everybody lift your hands towards heaven. Lift your hands towards heaven. Fire fall, fall. The fire of God, the refiner's fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit upon every life, upon every mind. Come on, fire fall now, now. Now, now, more, Lord, more, more of your spirit, more of your anointing, more of your glory, more of your voice. God, we want more, more, God, more, somebody. Cry out, God, more. Come on, that's it, church. That's it. Some of you are birthing your next level right now. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Come on, V1. Come on. Come on, cry out. Come on, cry out. You're birthing your cry. You're birthing your prayer language. You're birthing your next level. Come on, this is what it sounds like. The Bible says through groanings and travailings, and things that you utter but you know not. Don't let the enemy silence you. Don't let your flesh silence you. Let's go beyond the words of a song. At every campus right now, let's go beyond the words of the song. Come on, there it is, there it is, there it is. All the way in the back, there were spectators when Jesus was in the room 2,000 years ago, there were those who judged what was happening. But then there were those like the woman with the issue of blood that she said, I'm not going to miss my moment. I know how to make a withdrawal. Some of you can judge this moment. Some of you can be spectators. But the Lord says, my eyes are roaming to and fro in the earth, seeking who will seek me. Who doesn't need the lyrics of a song anymore? Who's graduating into the groan? Who's graduating into the longing? Who's graduating into the deeper things of the Spirit? Come on, some of you have been Christians for too long, but you've never learned how to groan. I want to hear V1 Church groan. I want to hear you release a desperation. Come on, pray in the Spirit. If you got to pray in the Spirit, I know you've been attacked this week. I know that this week has been hard because we're coming into a shift. Come on. Some of you, this is your chance. We don't have another agenda right now. I'm provoking you. Come on into the deep waters with me. 
come past religion and tradition come past the schedule some of you need to forget about your phone some of you need to forget about lunch it's time for the groan not the phone the groan not the phone the groan God's provoking you come on you were destined for more you were destined for more I want to know who wants to go with me it's a narrow road it's an extreme road many people will not walk this road it's easy to go to church and feel good but I didn't come to church for a good feeling I came to worship the king I came to make him pleased with my offering it's going to take a sacrifice you enter his courts with with praise you enter with thanksgiving it's gonna take more it just takes a little time come on here in America we've got to do better the Lord is looking come on somebody hey hey push past your limitations push past the flesh crucify it kill it we're worshiping in spirit in the lobby who will cry out for Jesus right now I wonder if there's anybody all the way in the back I wonder if there's anybody in New York City that will scream the name of Jesus and serve notice to every demon that can hear I wonder if there's anybody in Portage Indiana that will scream the name of Jesus and let every demon hear us I wonder if there's somebody that can be found on Sunday morning who don't care what they think i wonder if there's somebody who will cry jesus 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 i don't care what you think long island it's about jesus jesus come on break
May the fire, may the fire. Keep singing it. Just keep it low. I want to tell somebody here today, because we're getting ready to do one final moment. I got to be obedient to the Lord across every campus. Is it all right if I'm obedient to the Holy Spirit? Some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy, but you went to the seeker sensitive church for years where everything fit in a nice box and you still went home addicted to pornography. Some of you went to the church where everything was done in 70 minutes and you got to have your lunch every Sunday and your marriage is still a wreck. And so what's happening right now is I have made a decision as the pastor of this church 
that I am leaving any semblance of American Christianity and I want it to start looking like this again. Because the Bible says, as the time of his coming draws near and near, come together more and more. Asbury College in Kentucky is in over 60 hours of sustained revival because the college students are saying, We're, we don't want to have chapel, we want to have revival. You are living in the days of the second Jesus movement. Movie theaters are selling out around the country for a movie about deliverance. You have lived to see the days that they prophesied about. So what we're gonna do, here's the thing. Some of you, you already have the church that gave you all the good feelings, but you left demonized and in bondage. So some of you are like, why is he always provoking us to more? Because there's years and years and layers and layers of religious programming. And what happens is we get to heaven where streets are paved with gold. There's lightning striking the throne of God. There's angels covered in eyeballs and these creatures that are declaring the goodness of God. And then we realize, wow, what I did in church every Sunday did not prepare me for heaven but not so here at V1. I promise you this, if you stay with me at this church, I'm gonna make the transition from this life into the next one real easy, because what we say is your kingdom come, your will be done. Heaven come, come into New York City. Heaven come into Long Island. Heaven come into Indiana. Oh! So what we're gonna do, and I don't care how old you are, medically verifiable miracles happen when we surrender and worship. I don't care how tired you are, we're going to sing Let May the Fire on the Altar one more time. But we are going to do a multi-site simulcast dance party. But hold on. There's some of you that came in here depressed. There's some of you that came full of anxiety. We are going to dance upon injustice. If you're a woman, you are supposed to trample your heel upon the devil, that serpent's head. Come on, if you're a man, you're gonna take dominion in this garden of your life called Eden, and you are gonna be like the second Adam that tells that serpent, get thee behind me. And so we're gonna begin to sing, may the fire never go on. And we're gonna dance from the front to the back at every campus. I want you to unapologetically get out of your seat, get into an aisle. Come on, everybody, come on.
come on, come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, let's do some warfare prayer right now. Everybody, let's do some warfare prayer. We break the power of every controlling, manipulating spirit. We break the, come on warriors. We break the power of all witchcraft. Every domineering spirit, every vexing spirit, every tormenting spirit, I bind you now. Go to the abyss in Jesus' name. Come on, we route the enemy in every direction. Every hindering spirit, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of lack, every spirit holding up the blessing and the provision of God, we break the power of it now. Go! Come on, some of you need to begin to do warfare for your children. You need to begin to pray right now. Some of you for your spouses. Come on, you're in the atmosphere of the aroma of God. Across every location, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of, of sickness, come out of everybody now. We cancel your assignment by the blood of Jesus. Satan, you are defeated. You will not steal our worship. You will not steal our dance. You will not steal our song. The Lord rebuke you. Woo! Come on. We're not into building audiences around here. We're into making some armies. The people of God will not be silenced. I rebuke every spirit of shame. I bind you now and command you to loose them now. Go! Every spirit of shame and condemnation. Your power is broken. Freedom, 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 freedom. Yes. <laughs> we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers in high places. Put on the four full armor of God that you may withstand the wiles and the attacks of the enemy. Come on, you're a marked target, but I got news for you. You are girded up. You are covered. You will not be defeated. You will not be defeated because your Lord, your God is undefeated. You will not be silenced anymore. But the Lord says every voice that rises up against you, I will silence. Come on. He'll lift up a standard against them. Hey. Some of you have not felt the clarity of thought in a while because of the warfare that's been over your mind. And you've got to get in atmospheres like this. Come on, as your pastor, I'm discipling you. This is called discipleship. I dance because I want you to dance. I read the word to you because I want you to declare the word over your life. Some of you are like, how many times are we going to sing that phrase until we bring down every stronghold that contradicted that phrase? Come on. If you've ever done demolition, you got to tear the whole structure down. Some of you are like, we're going to repeat those words 500 times. Yes, you have over 88,000 negative thoughts a day. And sometimes you got to sing it 89,000 times until you counteract that worldly way of thinking and bring it down. God is trying to reprogram your spirit to get you ready for the next season. Come on, it's going to take some time. Listen, when you were dating, nobody told you to go home. 
because when you're enraptured in that love you don't ever want to leave it's okay to have three and four and five hour services because you spend nine and ten and eleven hours on your phone every day this movement that's happening right now from New York to California it's God ransoming his children back to him he's calling us back to our first love some of you this is the longest you've taken away from your phone in a long time this is the time to unfollow block cut off I got a word from heaven for you today that I'm going to deliver it's a prophetic sermon across every single campus but I want you to prepare your hearts right now Psalm chapter 37 says don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong for like grass they will soon fade away like spring flowers they will soon wither but trust in the Lord and do good then you will live safely in the land and prosper take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires commit everything you do to the Lord everything it says commit everything you do to the Lord trust him and he will help you some of you have only ever given 99% but 99% submission is 100% disobedience he wants everything unlock every door every memory every preference every pain he wants everything nothing less is acceptable than everything but he says, then trust him and he'll help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. You get so impatient and you make a move right before God's getting ready to make a move. But when you're dancing, God is working on your behalf. When you are singing, God is working on your behalf. Worship is not the, the absence of activity. It is a patience that produces God's results when he does it for you. Some of you have been so traumatized by life that you've learned, I've got to take care of myself. And the Lord says, if you bring that mindset into our relationship, you will actually stop and block what I'm trying to do on your behalf. Worship is about surrender. Worship says the end of my intellect is the beginning of God's intelligence. The end of my strategy is the beginning of his plan. The end of my ways, come on, the scripture says his ways are higher than my ways, his thoughts. So when you get into worship, I'm discipling you into the patience that says, God, worship is not doing nothing. It's letting you do everything. It's me saying I quit because I'm not going to get in your way this time. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about the wicked, their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Don't lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. They will possess the land I see that many people who attend V1 church are struggling with anger God why did you let them do that to me the Lord told me to give you back give you back your power it's not what they did to you it's your response to when it happened and God says just like you look at Job you look at Joseph what they meant for my harm, God, you turned it around for my good. Worship says, God, I don't know how you could get glory out of this tragedy, but I believe that you take beauty and exchange it for ashes. I believe that you take the broken things and put them back together as if they were never broken. And you can't control the actions of other people, but you can reveal how much trust you have in God. So these moments are special moments in your life because these are the moments where you say God I'm gonna prove that you are always sovereign that you are always in control that you are always working it out for my good let's take 20 seconds right now across every campus
The Lord's been dealing with things the last several weeks. You can feel it. Can you not, Pastor Patrick? You can feel it. There are many words that were spoken into your life years ago, seasons ago, that God is speaking loudly. It's time for them to come up due. But it will require a new identity for a new destiny. And he will have to change you so that you can actually maintain and sustain that which he has called you to. And many of you are still blaming someone else, but the Lord says, let's make it about you in this moment right now. Because just like grass on a rooftop, they will wither. But my plan is for you. I look at the story of Moses. Is it all right if I just preach you into your next level for a second? I look at Moses. It says, and God hardened Pharaoh's heart. So was it ever really about Pharaoh? No, but Pharaoh was a pawn in sovereign God's plan to actually cause them to be so discontented with Egypt that they actually got up and left. And sometimes some people in your life, their hard-heartedness, God will allow it to get you desperate enough to finally say, I can't live this way anymore. Did you know that there's a holy discontentment that will come over you and you'll say, I'm sick of it. Sometimes you gotta hate the sin and what it does to you. Sometimes you gotta hate the mediocrity and surrendering to less than what God has for you. And God will allow you to feel like you're gonna throw up out of discontent to say, now you're ready to come out of Egypt. You know what V1 Church is? It's a church full of people who said, I was so discontented with religion, I knew there was encounter. I knew there was more. You know what V1 Church is? It's people saying, I was so discontented sitting on the shelf. I knew that God could use me to do something. I knew there was a reason I didn't kill myself. I knew there was a reason I wasn't aborted, even though my mother told the story of going to the clinic and coming home. I know I shouldn't have died in that car accident. I know I shouldn't have given up. And we are all about to see why, because now is the time. New York, Long Island, Indiana, you are in the right region. Some of you are like, why didn't I move? God God says, because I'm trying to take you to another level, not another geography. I'm all, come on. So right now, let's pray. Father, I pray over every single person of this house right now that you would continue to finish the work that you started in them. God, that you would rearrange. Come on, some of you just need to say, God, you have permission now. Do what you will. Come on, there it is. He'll break you. He'll mold you. He'll shape you. He'll remove. He'll extract. This is a holy season in your life. You're going to look back on this season. This is not a forever thing, but right now this is a holy season in your life because he's preparing. He's preparing. He's preparing. He's wrapping up a process. Woo. Some of you feel something turning in your stomach right now deep calls to deep deep calls to deep some of you are starting to see the possibility of what God can do the limitation is coming off says the Lord father we thank you right now that v1 church is a house that dreams we dream with you God we believe what you say God In Jesus name Woo. Amen. Amen.